far we've talked about hypothesis testing for one mean when sigma squared was known, one mean when sigma squared was unknown, and two means when sigma squared was unknown. And also we touched a little bit on two means when sigma squared was known. Now we're gonna start talking about proportion. So we're still doing hypothesis testing, now we're going to focus on a proportion rather than a mean. All right, so what's our setup for the proportions? All right, suppose that we have a random variable y, it has a binomial distribution with n trials and probability of success p. So n is known, in other words, we know how many times we flip the coin, but p is unknown. We don't know the probability of heads or tails. Okay, so we want to test p. So for example, Say you like eating M&Ms and you eat a lot of them and you notice uh, it seems like there are more red M&Ms than the factory claims. So just making this up, maybe the factory that produces M&Ms claims that 10% of M&Ms are red. You think more than 10% of M&Ms are red. So you want to test the M&M factory's claim. So your null hypothesis is going to be what the M&M factory claims, which is P equals 0.1, where P is the probability of a red M and, M. and then the alternative is going to be what you think, which is P is greater than 0.1. All right, so we're trying to t uh, figure something out about P, so it would make sense to look at the sample proportion. The sample proportion is just the number of red M&Ms divided by the number of M&Ms that you sample. So Y over N is going to be our estimator for P. Usually we call that P hat, but we can write it Y over N just to be explicit about it. All right, so we have an estimator for P. We need to know the distribution of Y over N. So in other words, if we take a sample of N M&Ms and calculate P hat for it, and then do that again, another sample of N M&Ms, calculate P hat for it, and then again and again, how much is that sample proportion going to vary and what's its distribution? All right, so the distribution of our sample proportion is approximately normal with mean P, and then variance, actually this is a standard deviation, the square root of P times one minus P over N. All right, so under the null hypothesis, under the claim that P equals 0.1, we can rewrite this and substitute out the P's with 0.1. So then our sample proportion is gonna be approximately normally distributed with mean 0.1, and then standard error, square root of 0.1 times 1 minus 0.1 divided by the sample size n. So here it is for our M&M &M example, and then up here it's more generally written, so the sample proportion is approximately normally distributed with mean given by the um, hypothesis, null hypothesis, and then the standard error is also given by the null hypothesis. All right, so if we wanna test the null hypothesis that a proportion is equal to some value, P naught, we're going to use this test statistic. Sample proportion minus the value of the proportion under the null hypothesis divided by the standard error under the null hypothesis. So remember, we calculate our test statistic under the null hypothesis, and then we use the approximate sampling distribution stand standard normal because that's what's given here. All right, so summary, if you're looking to test one proportion, we're going to use the estimator y over n, and we know that y over n has approximately this distribution under the null hypothesis, normal mean p naught, which is the value of p under the null hypothesis, and then the standard error under the null hypothesis. So we can rewrite this, so here's our test statistic, and then we know that under the null hypothesis is going to have a distribution that's standard normal.